consider how deep a silver war is and, and to the degree it's gonna be it ain't gonna be red versus blue this right. time it's gonna be literally that dude across the street versus him versus him versus yeah. her yeah. it's gonna be a free for all man child. Yeah. everybody's gonna you know by definition all civil war means is citizens of the same country uh, uh at war with each other man and all these people gonna go to war when uh, power's out, when food ain't, no, ain't, ain't in themselves. That's no right. Way. Everybody gonna get into a warlike mindset. Yeah. Survival. 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 Hey, bro, they yeah. already in that. They already yep. in that. They already in that spirit That's of right. war because they know any day they can go to the store. And no food, there. nothing. Yep. They, they they get in their car. They can't get home because they ain't got no gas. They just wasted the last gallon to get to the store to get the food, hoping now, they get now, home. But now, now they gotta go miles on foot. Yep. Hey, first we, target. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. When we saying this you know some months ago but now you're, you're starting to see it now uh uh, uh 18 count of eggs ten dollars now everybody looking crazy and shit now everybody want to want to uh look into what we say i mean you see uh yeah, the, the prices of the food going up it's hard to find just basic shit now well we've been telling you that but nigga solution is uh trying to move to different states not knowing that uh it's hitting it's everybody this, this economy is gonna fucking crash everywhere. in this whole yeah, country yeah. right the world's economy is right. right. nigga would tell you moving down to texas or moving down to georgia right oh it's better down here nigga are you stupid right <laughs> <laughs> yes I yes. Who, who don't, yes who don't know shit yep. you know? i got something who's gonna be uh taken uh as people in the night yep. that's right, right. So, right. Like, and one right. more thing just back you up they say it's better because the uh cost of living items are a little bit cheaper but then again you, you're making let's say you're making 22 an hour out here you're gonna go out there and make 14 hours everybody's through everybody's through man now and there is more guns Shit, man. And if you join so, hand in hand unto this man he shall be thrust yeah. through yeah. Right, because through is in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, like I, for Brother Sue, I listened to uh, NWA and that song, I think, straight out of Compton. MC Red said, And when you on the scope, your ass is through. <laughs> <laughs> you know me on the scope of the Heavenly Father, man. Ooh. He going to pick your ass off. Hey, because you, you have to have Yahweh Shah, like it said in John. It said, Those that don't believe that Yahweh Shah is who he is, the wrath of the Heavenly Father is still on you. Hey, what happens to that guy right. with Mark? <laughs> See, he marks himself. That's spirit, it's man. That's right. Do we not beg and tell this dude, don't tell us your name? I heard you on the tape talking about me. Don't call me Jake. Let's play it back. Play it back. Play it back. I got something. This is uh, John 14 and 26. It says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Hey, we had that Holy Spirit. We had that spirit of comfort. Mm -hmm. And then when we go into the scriptures, it just, it elevates. Like, whoa, because we, we know what's coming. See, Jake don't, nigga talking about getting the bag. That's about to be through. A nigga talking about generational wealth, bro. This shit is going to be through. Your child is going to be dead. Like, the nigga's going to realize the hell with generational wealth when your generations are gone. Damn. You'll be yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Yo, hey, that, yeah. that's what yeah. broke uh, uh, Geronimo. Yeah, when he seems like his family slaves, he got to a point where he's like, I don't even want to fight no more. Damn. And it's going to get to a point where Jay going Jay to have a damn AR and shit, and he going to click off his fucking little baby in the head. Wow, gone. He going to be like, you know, Jake is emotional. I don't even want yeah. to Like, it's going to get real, Jake. Hey, we all been here before, like, you just want to lay down and shit, like, your stomach hurts. Yeah, yeah. Hey, exactly. Man. Hey, brothers, got to check out, it's a, uh, it's a YouTube. It's either called the, uh, the Mark of the Beast, something to that extent, but it's, it's on uh, YouTube, and they were in a concentration camp, all the people who didn't want to take the chip, and Esau told them, like, straight up, like, you know, you all got about, you know, a few more hours to make the decision, but basically, we're going to kill y'all if y'all don't take it. And a bald head nigga stood up and was like, I'll take the mark. If I find it all the way in there. Yeah, brother said, watch that years ago. I, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, but it, it just showed how people are uh, going to be through. And another scene in there, it was a, a family. It was a, a, a dad and his, his wife and then their daughter. The dad and the wife took the chip and the daughter didn't. 
the dad and the uh, and the mom, they were, were called Esau and their daughter. You. Like, yeah, she doesn't want to take yeah. it. We keep talking to her. And Esau showed up and he killed all of them. Esau was like, why did you wait so long to tell us? And put all of them in shit. You. And that's yeah, yeah. Come on. And that's yeah. the story, huh? Because um, it was on the fifth wave where they separated the children from the parents. Parents went that way, children went this way, and then the children was being put on the bus. And then there was like an auditorium where they was talking to the to the parents, like, hey, what's, what's going on? Like, man, hey, we want to answer. What about our children? And then they just was like, here's your answer. And they just brought out the guns and fucking laid them all down, man. I remember that movie, The Crazies? Yeah. How they was uh, going into town and shit, and they thought they was helping. And they start gunning them down, yeah, yeah, yeah. send them on yeah, fire. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, they had the, bus, the buses of people, they thought they was all getting help. And they set up the buses and blew them up and shit. And that's the spirit these all going to be in. Hey, uh, and, when, and when Babylon finally crumbles, I don't give a shit if you got a passport to another land. If, if they find out, they find out, like, hold on. You, you out of America. Oh, but they ain't going to be fucking, hey, like on that movie, uh, No Escape with fucking, uh, What's that dude's name? Owen Wilson. Yeah. He was in that other land, living it good in Babylon, but he went over there for like a business meeting mm. and they was hunting, they was fucking yeah. his ass down, man. So if you were American and you somewhere else, if when it goes down in America and the borders are closed off, just like on Forever Purge, like the borders shall be closed until the United States restores order and they ain't never gonna be restored no. again. So if you in another land, you American, you gonna be hunted down. By them, by them uh, heathens out there, man. Uh, they gonna know you in America. They about to kill his ass. Yeah. You know? They gonna like, I think it was in that movie, Rest Hour. He took his ID, said, ah, American. <laughs> American money, man. Yeah, because everything Esau do is a deception. So even when he presents this, uh, this mark, he's gonna present it like, oh, we need you to be ID'd or we need, you know? But he's really just trying to control you because he's gonna be able. You gonna be like a, a robot. You hey, know what I'm Bob Kishaw and a brother get in Maccabees when they said peaceful words to Jake and fucking laid waste to the city, man. So that, that's what this dude gonna come. He's like, he gonna have it on a bullhorn and shit. He gonna have the robot dog just walking out there with the bullhorn and shit. He gonna have, please come out of your home. We know you're there. We can see the damn infrared and shit. Right. We know all you niggas is in it. Come out and they gonna. Niggas gonna step out like the bald head nigga that got him. He gonna step out and then the, the dog is gonna lay him down. Hey, the, ro the robot's gonna be able to tell if you got it or not. They're gonna be able to scare like, oh <laughs> shit, no no ID, no match. Like, who who are you? Like, what's up? You know They're what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, I, I got that account. You got it out, but I'm just trying to bring it out real yeah, quick. This is uh, first Maccabees 1, starting at verse uh, 44. Now, during this time, when the Greeks came up, this was Esau's first empire. He wanted to Hellenize the world. Now this time, Esau wants what? He wants you to be a part of his new world order or perish. It said it's the same that will not uh, uh, worship the image of the beast, should be killed. So, and when you go into that word kill, it means to be separated from a whole. The elect is gonna separate from the whole of society. We're gonna have to forget everything we've ever learned new in this fucking place, the day to day, getting up, going to work shit, the groundhog day, we gonna have to like, move off the spirit of the Lord. That's a spirit. Man. You was going to how we gonna be able to separate from all this, man. We gonna be like, man, we fuck. So you gonna be able to still think he cool in this yeah. time where nigga can fucking jack your dumb ass. Man. Lord willing, we be somewhere we can actually tap in into like the avatar state type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like just be away from this shit, man. We waited on the day that we get to leave. Right. If we can leave now, we won. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey. Right now. Exactly. No bullshit. I be I be looking for an excuse to quit my job, man. I'm like, man, I, I can't wait to just, just say fuck this shit, man. Fuck this money. I mean, we still gotta do the work, but yeah. fuck this phone, man. Fuck all this shit, man. Yeah. This is the only reason brothers is holding on, cause you know brothers need money to pay for the right. phone, the internet, the car, and everything. Right. But once it's like said and done, oh, we, 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 we gonna know. Like, hey, 2020. Wow. I, me and this brother remember like 
We just like, hey, hey, bro, we yeah. said like, what now? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, me and the brother, you show that we used to go every fucking damn near every night, and we had a bottle every night, man, celebrating. Crazy. With COVID happy. Yeah, I thought it was over, yeah, man. Yeah, it I, I just didn't think we would be here right now, man. Hey, you for know? a lot of people, it was it was the end, though, man. That shit oh, shut man. down a lot of people, man. Hey, I yeah, think I shut off. Uh, they yeah. they stuck yeah. in 2020, yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. We never got yeah. out of it. Hey, bro, me and this brother, Azak, did a, a lesson in 2019, uh, right before the, the, the year change. And then we, we called it what, Ock? We shall, uh, we shall see yep. 2020. Yep. Do you know how you can see clear? You got 2020 vision, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we shall see. Like, go ahead. And look what has happened. Hey, and going into the, like, the, the third, like, going into the third year, the third phase, the third phase of we get ready to get about to, That's right. about to be all our hell out here, man. You can see it clear as day that it's all our hell for Jake, bro. Woo! Hey, hey, next year, the, uh, when you multiply, it'll be uh, 2022 or 2023. That's like six, six, six. Yeah. The year of the same year. You know Esau Love is the yep. Yep. shit. He already said uh, the first of the year, Illinois going to uh, have a, a no cash, a zero cash bail or whatever. Yep. That's supposed and to it's going to spread from state to state. state. Yeah. They ain't just going to stay in Illinois. They're going to move about fucking take it everywhere. But when, the, when that power go out, it's going to automatically, you know, spread. It ain't going to be no law out here, man. It's going to be yeah. martial law. Yeah. Hey, hence what the scriptures say, you can grab it out. Yeah. Sedition amongst men. Well, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, First Maccabees 1 and verse 40. Or starting at verse 41. It says, Moreover, King Antiochus broke to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And that's the spirit, because um, in that CBDC uh, little uh, video, when they were showing how everything was gradually changing, remember the dude went to the ATM, he's like, I can't take any money out of my damn ATM. And then he went home and turned on the news, and she's like, uh, if, if people are out there um, confused about everything going on, we're switching to it. And it was letting everybody know that you have to do this in order to move about. Right. So that's exactly what Antiochus wrote. Now, in the ancient world, You'll write a decree and a fucking letter and a horseman will go right out to the cities and say, this be the decree of the king. But since now we have, you know, phones, television, radio, right. it's going to be sent out quickly. And they're going to let you know what it is and what it ain't. Right. It's like with the 2020 shutdown, they're like, only essential workers, everybody else, shut up, stay home. If you fire, you through, get out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, stand in the line, put a mask on, shut up, sit up. You know, yep. <laughs> and you will go back into the mask in which you hate, my brother, and you will wear it until you love it and die. Yeah, that's right. Because niggas still. Hey, in just out, so like it, just out here, they're saying that these the, the cases are going back up. So they trying to they gonna try to do it in certain sections to test out the people, man. Yeah, bro. Hey, nigga just told me the other day six feet, man. Yeah. I was sitting next to him in line. He looked back a nigga. He looked back and like six feet. See? Hey, 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 that's beautiful. Hey, that's, hey, that's beautiful. Hey, that's beautiful because at the height of it, me and this brother, we used to go to the Trade Federation a lot when we was out there in Monrovia. And when they would say six feet, brothers would just laugh and be like, this dude about to be six feet under. Right? Right. <laughs> six feet, all right. Six feet under. Yeah. Hey, I said, peace of words. I can just talk about it. Hey, cause of the nigga in that my state, that's like a plague of the mind, man. Talking about six feet, you know, like you spread, yeah, you spread, yeah, you spreading uh, pretty much uh, a disease, shit. Yeah, fear. Yeah. Cause ain't you wearing a mask? Why, why you need six feet and you need the mask? Hey, I, and hey, I don't, and don't, don't you need the chip? Hey, if they, uh, <laughs> it's my book, it's my book, you can grab, uh, uh, yeah, fear, fear is a snare. Because it, it, remember uh, Apocalypto, uh, uh, remember you asked the son, you asked Jawa, yep. what, what did you see on their face? Like, so he's talking about, father, he's like, what did you see on their face? Yep. He, he's like, I don't know. He said, fear. Fear was on their fucking face. And it's a disease that fucking spread oh, quick too. quickly, man. That's the, un the unseen eye, I and hey, that's why the scriptures say, uh, fear not what man can do, but fear the Lord, man. They, these people don't have to fear the Lord, man. That's right, because everything that's going to happen from the, the nigga that was under the bed, uh, hearing his woman get raped to, to, to the damn baby, getting going into the train with the mom, is all of the Lord. If you fear him, you're like, right, right. He put it in their mind to wake their ass up right. and get grabbed a baby and bow into the train or the nigga to go to Disneyland. And the Lord said, you're going to have a good time. 
And then you're going to have a, a better time. Right. <laughs> you're going to fucking jump it's off. Slow down. You're going to get that first time. Yeah. Now, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 25. It says, the fear of man bringeth a snare. The fear of man, your own fear. The Lord knows what you're afraid of. Nigga, nigga, the big battle on the uh, on on the block and shit. But imagine your ass waking up with an alligator in your fucking room. Right. Damn. And you ain't got no pants on. Uh, <laughs> 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 you know? Your shit is, you know? Damn. You got <laughs> through. no pants on. Yeah. Yeah. You and, through. It, and say you got all the food, like all the damn water is fucking sewn up. And you go to your cellar. The Lord just turn that all to fucking stones and shit. Damn. You go, you then you gonna see the power of the Lord. Like That's that. right. No, it's the Lord's plan, not your own plan. Yep. Right. It, up. it says, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, shall be safe. Woo! There it is. You put your trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai, he shall be safe. That's right. Safe. safe. <laughs> That's it. Good, huh? That's the point. That was it. Uh, going back to first back of these. Uh, verse 29 and 30. Verse 29 it says, and after two years fully expired. Hey, it hasn't been there. Isn't it like Dan L? <laughs> that time. <laughs> Bro, and the Lord is like, that was like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the time right there just ding. Yeah. That was beautiful, bro. Yeah. Two years, bro. <laughs> two fully years. Fully bro. expired. Yeah. One, two days. Hey, cool. That'll be March. Two Woo! years in March, basically. Man, and that's really the new year for yeah, yeah. Right. It says the king sent his chief collector of, of tribute unto the cities of Judah who came unto Jerusalem with the great multitude. Now back then the tribute was like your money, your lands and shit that you had. They might even take your son or, or your children as a hostage because that was the Roman way. But this was the Greek era. Pretty much taxes. Pretty much. But you got to remember what happened in ancient Egypt under Joseph. He turned Egypt into a, a totalitarian society because he gathered up all the money in Egypt that was found and all the lands, and it was given to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh became ruler over the whole land because before, each person had their own little plot of land. They was doing their own thing. But it, but Joseph, under his time, turned it into a totalitarian society. Yeah. And then the people said, we don't have our horses or cattle or nothing or lands. Take us and our bodies. That's what they're going to come for this time. They gonna send the tribute out there, like lay down, either get, get down, down or lay down. down. Yeah. You go ahead. Up. It says it spake peaceable words unto them. Oh, there it is. But all was deceit. All was deceit. <laughs> Damn. Yep. All was deceit. It yep. says for when they had given him credit, credence, credence. Yeah, if a brother can look that up in the etymology, credence. See, our people like to give e a chance and shit. Yep. Or, no. or credits, because it, it comes from uh, the word credible. So you're cre yeah, you may, you're saying he's credible for what he's saying. Just like the rich man said, they stole his words to the clouds and shit. But the nigga is lying to you the whole goddamn time. You got the word? Go ahead. Go ahead huh? This credence, it means belief, trust, and facts derived uh, from other than personal knowledge. <laughs> so, so the ego tell you Damn. the facts. Yeah, it's that uh, yeah. God is dead and the Savior, that's fake news. And niggas going to believe that. Niggas that been in the church their whole fucking life going to believe that. Yep. He going to be like, hey, there ain't no God here to save you. And he going to say, I'm going to save you. I'm, I'm your Savior and shit. And niggas going to believe it. Because the ugly ass black woman said, I wish the white man would love us as much as we, he, we love him and shit. So, like, what the fuck? He ain't never loved you. Yeah. He just wants some food. That's, that. That's it. If, if he even wanted that, I'd right. be a nigga is a demon. You know? Go ahead.